Hey guys, Mr. Kyle at Myers Mathematics. We are doing the is it fourth day? Fifth day? There we go. Can't count. Ha <laughs> ha. It's ironic. So September sixth. It's an even number day of the month. So we're doing an even number of problems. We are doing four problems today. Four problems. And if this is your first one that you've seen. Then you're probably like, wait, but there's only two things over here. One, two. That's because I do a plus and a minus, because I'm lazy. Uh, so this is actually four problems. This is x squared plus 2x minus 15, x squared minus 2x minus 15, x squared plus 3x plus 2, and x squared minus 3x plus 2. There's four problems there that I'm going to work out for you guys today. So check it out. Let's dive right in. x squared plus 2x minus 15. So, obviously, 1 and 15 make 15 when I multiply, but if I subtract, they do not give me 2. So, that's not going to work. 15 doesn't go into 2, but it does go into 3. It goes into 3 5 times. And check that out. If I subtract 3 and 5, I get 2. And that's exactly what I want to get. So, I just need a positive 2, so I need to make that negative and that positive. Throw some x's in front. And there we go. We have the answer. It's, excuse me. It's that easy, guys. Let's do the next one. X squared minus 2x minus 15. All right, so it's going to be almost identical to the first one here. Um, so I'm going to just skip the 1 and the 15 part because I already know 1 and 15 when I subtract are going to give me 14. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to skip straight to the 3 and the 5. I'm going to leave myself a little bit more space because I was a little, little cramped there. A little, little cramped. Um, so I'm going to leave myself a little bit more space here. Um, but I want to make the 5 negative this time because if I do 3 minus 5, that's negative 2. All right, so I throw an x, throw in an x, and we're done. All right, now for the second two problems here, x squared plus and minus 3x plus 2. Check it out. So I'll start with x squared plus, x squared plus, and we'll change colors here, x squared plus 3x plus 2. This is a really popular one uh, for some starting out factoring problems. So check this out. There's only two things that multiply to give me 2, right? 2 and 1. And those two things also happen to add to give me 3 if they are both positive. So 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 times 1 is 2, boom, that's it. Throw some parentheses and x's, and we are done. And then for the last one, it's going to be really similar. x squared minus 3x plus 2. And again, there's only two things that give you 2 when you multiply, right? 2 and 1. But this time, we want them both to be negative, right? I don't want to just make one of them negative, um, because I could get a negative number if I made the 2 negative and not the 1. But I need to get a positive 2 still when I multiply. So they both have to be negative. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 when I add, right, because this is negative 2 plus negative 1, or just negative 2 minus 1, however you want to look at it, however you, uh, whatever whatever term or whatever strategy you use for your integers is fine with me. But um, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. So this all checks out here, throw some x's around it, and call it a day.